He's never heard of a tape measure, you see this boy. I don't understand people who come to a car boot no, asking for bags. It's the most weirdest thing in the world to me. How much for that? Tenner. A tenner? Yeah. What's so good about it? How much is this car? When I open, it's for sale, yeah. It's about tenner. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll, I'll get the message. Yeah, all right. Sweet as. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've just made it to the car boot site and it is raining. Raining. Which is obviously a massive problem. I need to go and find Patrick. He wants this little He-Man thing. So I told him he can have that. Let's go and see if we can find some bargains. I'm not going to let this rain put me off. We're going to f***ing smash it today. I will not be beaten. Um, today. Morning, mate. Morning. There's literally nobody here. Where's Patrick? Hello, mate. Uh, 100. 100? Yeah. Bro, sealed Mega Drive games. <laughs> oh, look at him. You're a legend, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, you bold bastards. Yeah, that's amazing, mate. Cool. I'm over here. Not a lot yet. What's so special about this area? Here he is, Mr. Retro 87. You good? You alright? I'm out with you. Good painting, son. Oh, I have been. <laughs> DIY. Some accessories. I, like, I don't know who they're to. Like, yeah. I haven't got time to look at. Yeah. Sorry, I've kept him. Here you go. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I think. Uh, Pat, is there anything for you? Pat. Just wasn't sure if it's anything for you or not. Oh shit. Oh, he got a hole in the bag. There's a couple in there. So either you or Mr. Retro would like them. One of the new ones. Yeah, these are the ones, the ones you have on card still? Yeah. Mama, mama, mama. I need to get back over here where the action's happening. How much are the games, mate? Uh, pound each. <laughs> I got two there, mate. I have got two there, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that, Ricky. What? Did you get them? Yeah. One of them's a newer one. Yeah, I saw them. One of them's a bit older, and it was turned out. Yeah, yeah, that's an older one. Ninety-seven yeah. or something. Ninety-one. I think. Ninety-one. Yeah. Do you want to look at it? No, no, you go for it, man. How much are you asking on this, mate? Ten pound, mate. Ten, yeah. How much are these? They're four pounds. This one? Three. Three, yeah? There you go. Thank you. How much is the cut? No, you're all right. How much is this car? When I open, it's for sale, yeah. It's about tenner. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll, I'll get the message. Yeah, all right. Sweet as. What a way to lose a fucking customer. I just want to find a £500 item from 50p today. That's all I want to do. That'll be the dream, son. Sorry, my man. After you. How much of these bits here? You say they're all kind of I want your bloody mat you've got. No, no, everybody wants that mat. Well, I guess that means it's not for sale. as well. So what have I got to do to get you to sell me this rug then? Yeah. Yeah. Alright then. No problem. How much is that? And then I'll buy that and then that. And then, I'm, and then how much with the rug? No. Oh, see I can't, I can't have a rug without a Volkswagen. <laughs> how much is the board game, mate? Oh, sh sorry man. You're busy. How much is that one? Um, pound. I'll buy that. I haven't got any change though. I've got change. I'm prepared. Prepared as. Cheers. Thank Thanks you. mate. Let's look at this tin as well. <laughs> and how much is the tin? Um, <laughs> I'll buy that. That was my top holiday destination as a kid, that one. Slum life. Yeah, Cheers, mate. Let's have a look. Crack on, mate. That's right. Yeah, do, yeah, do it in your own time. Here you go. But are you going to sell it afterwards? Or you... I will, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. You'll have to wait until I've got everything out. Pack, do you need any Wii games? What'd you say? Shovelware. Shovel back? Shovelware. <laughs> or shovelware? <laughs> I'm confused, talk to me. 
Just <laughs> shitty ones. Oh, shitty games. Oh, Shovel. shovelware. Oh, I see. Shelf fillers. Oh, we call it we call it um, fodder. Fodder. Language. My <laughs> Sorry, mother. You were going to Europe. Thank you. I love these bunnies. How much are the teddy bears? My little one. For him? 50p. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Oh, Please, sorry. Let me get out of your way. Yeah, until I've paid you. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't sleep at night. Here you go, my lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's nice. Can I speak to him like that? Yeah. It's not very nice. Is that it? Oh, it's a magnet, isn't it? Is it a magnet? How much is it? 50p. Sold. Thank you. I'll check, I'll check every one of them, make sure they're not euros. <laughs> check yours. The mine are euros. There you go, my man. Thank you. How much are the figures? <laughs> Sold. After you. Sorry, I didn't realise you were still setting up. My apologies. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much are the teddies? Uh, 50p. Oh, I can't say no to that. It's cool as hell. Hench Squidward. Is that what it is? I think it's Squidward, I think, from Spongebob. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, but he's, um, I don't know, looks like some sort of Superman. Thank you, lovely, thank you. How much is this, oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, um, I do two pounds on that. I think it's, I think it's, the I mean, it's never been used. I'll give it a go for two quid, see yeah, how we get on. Uh, mate, I've spent, I spend more on Red Bull, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. How much is the little clock, mate? Uh, you can buy anything you want in there, it's 10 quid each though. Is it? Okay. Oh, so I beg your pardon. How much for that? A tenner. A tenner? Yeah. What's so good about it? Talk to me, teach me, teach me. It's old, it's unusual, you never see another one like it. I, I hope I not, I hope not at a tenner. Go on, you Google it up, see what it's worth. Pat, you ever seen anything like this before? How much you got in the bag, mate? Uh, for <laughs> <laughs> 50 quid each. Cheaper at half the price. That's Etsy though, it's Etsy though, isn't it? He wants, right, he wants, he wants, he wants a tenner. I don't know why, but anyone else, if they're sat there doing that, it, it grinds my gears, but I don't mind. I don't mind if he do it, for some reason, because he, I told him he collects as well, everything. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it. And I'll say, this is honesty. Can't yeah, see yeah, nothing about it. I don't know. Yeah, no, I couldn't do a tenner, my friend. I appreciate it though. Ho hopefully it sells for you. Yeah, well. I appreciate it, mate. Yep, I appreciate it. Thank you anyway. Thank you anyway, sir. Uh, no, you good? Good to see you. They've got a right clearance going on, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're actually called Rickies. Yeah, they are. Sure, it's a yeah. Buy them. I can't find the leg size. How much are the jeans? Buy them. Five. You can't find the leg size? I'll show you them, Tom. I mean. I'm not going to buy them. You buy them. So, 38s. Mm -hmm. Ricky Flap. <laughs> Who cares what the leg size is? I do, because if I'm going to try to sell them. Okay. You going to get them or what? No, if you want. Yeah, I'll buy them if you want. No, you take them. He's, never heard of a, he's never heard of a tape measure, you see this boy. <laughs> Lovely. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> what, you never heard of a tape measure, boy? Yeah. You sure? I'll tell you what, if I see another Pop Funko, it'll be too soon. Yeah? I'm sick of looking at them. I think I've only got six left now, anyway. Yeah, I've done well out of it. How much is Pink Panther? Oh, what? Well, that's for the, uh, that's like a golf, but you could use it as a... <laughs> use it for whatever, couldn't I, really? Yeah. yeah. How much? Fiver? Yeah. Cool, you made, me, you made me fall in love with them first. Would you do three on it? Whatever. Three okay with you, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah I'll try three. Garage, yeah, bless you. I'll try that. Okay. Here you go. And they go for about 30 quid. Thank you. Lovely, look at this while it's gone. Thanks a lot. Okay, yeah. Good morning, mate. Like, yeah. I mean, and half of what it is, it's like really unusual. Yeah. Um, did that. Oh. That that no, no, I've got it. Don't worry. He's a nice bloke. He would, he would no, never, no, no, he wouldn't do it anyway. Happen. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, you got to watch your back in these places. It happens in a matter of a second. Okay. He's a nice guy. Nintendo Wii on the bag for you? But it's not, not for me. It's a good price as well. Before summer. Yeah, yeah. It's a what? Oh. How much is it? A fiver. A fiver. Yeah. 
I will buy. I need another bag now. I've got a bag. Oh, you have got a bag. I'll carry two in one. Oh, no, fair enough. No, 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 you're right. I don't understand people who come to a car boot no, a asking for bags. It's the most weirdest thing in the world to me. You do? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you know who do? Yeah, strange, isn't it? Right, thank you so much. Thank you. Traps. Oh, I need some of that, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. Why do I not remember this bench being there? Yeah, same though, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say that, say that, man. Say that, man. Well, this should be nice and quick, shouldn't it? As always, Saturday car boots, I never expect to get bag loads. If I do, it's a good day. But if I get quality, that's fine as well. I wish this chair would stop spinning on its own. But regardless, we've got some good bits. What is that? What is that? Let's just dive straight into it. Jelly cat for 50 pence. I think this is called the Slacker Jack or something. Slacker Jack Bunny. He does have a little bit of, I don't know, coffee or something on his foot. I'm going to try and get that off. But Jelly Cat's 50p. Come on. 12 or 15 pound on that one, I should imagine. Maybe a bit more, hopefully. We'll have a look. Jacked Squidward from the SpongeBob movie 2014. I've seen solds of this one for. 14.99 i think it was or 13.99 can't remember that again was 50 pence notifications yeah you're right <laughs> big up leslie there was a crazy stream last night and whatnot mental i'm sure the community is going to be loving it and lapping it up for the next few months who cares pink panther not just any old pink panther who looks massively baked to be honest Head -head. yeah Got some munches, man. I need some munches, man. Carried away. Winning Edge Designs. This is a driver cover, head golf cover. Is it? Yes. The lady wanted £5 for this. I oh, know, £5. Crazy, isn't she? Hello, sir. <laughs> £5 she wanted. For some reason, I thought these were worth like 50 quid. I've had a look. Some solds do go for 50 odd in america yes 50 pound but you're looking at about 20 to 30 on this one yes you're worth about 20 to 30 pounds i paid three pound yeah oh no problem buddy no problem but i'm gonna sell you vintage butlin's biscuit tin vintage butlin's biscuit tin vintage butlin's biscuit tin vintage butlin's biscuit tin Vintage Butlin's Biscuit Tin. Sorry. I'm actually not sorry, to be honest. Hello, it's me. I'm stuck in a wheel. Somebody help me. Little Timmy. What's wrong with me? I've seen solds on this one already for 26 99 Beautiful. A couple of cause figures. 50 pence each. I bought them because I love cause. I think his artwork's fantastic. And it was Vivi that got me into cores, which is annoying that they get to have that legacy. Um, I don't think they are legit because these are mass, 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 mass produced in like third party aspect. So I don't think they're actual cores, but they are cores. Does that make sense? Cores and effect. 50 pence each I paid for those. Pound each for these now. Who wants to be a millionaire? Sealed. I know it's not worth much. Probably second edition, probably like. 12 quid sealed, I think. Somebody's got one listed for 16 99 sealed, unsold. I think they could be dreaming. I'm probably going to list that on Vinted for like seven quid. Somebody can add that. If they're collecting every single DS game, they're going to need that. And FIFA World Cup 2002 on the GameCube with the manual for a pound as well. Again, I think it's only worth about four or five quid if that. Trivial Pursuit DPD edition. The only time at DPD will actually be in my hands on time. In fact, no, that's slagging them off. They're actually really quite good, for, to be honest. Paid one pound, it's probably worth eight pound, if that. So again, it'll be another vintage deal for like four or five quid. Listed and sold within five minutes for a fiver before 10 o'clock, beautiful. Southern Electric Meter, it is new in the box, as in it's been opened, but it's never been used, still got all the little seals and stuff on it. Paid two pound for that, or three pound, two pound for that I paid. I'll be listing it for about 25 quid. Little Harrods Umbrella Magnet, 50 pence paid on that. No idea on the value. No idea. This is a nice find. Hold on a minute. 
what we have here is a Ganix Kagan textile jacket. It's a really sort of thick exterior, nice lined interior by Ganix. There we go, one to look out for. These are highly associated with the royal family. It's like an over jacket, but when I tell you this outer material is like stormproof. So I think it's going to do really well. You're guaranteed like 30, 35 on something like that, but something with this sort of material, I'm not too sure. Could be looking upwards of 70 pound, but I paid a fiver. Even if I get the low end of 35 back, I'm happy, but I'll be pushing for a lot higher. I'll do some proper research into it. And that'll go up with the aqua scooter and the Burberry that I still haven't listed because I'm, I'm lazy. True religion, Ricky jeans. Do you mind? I'm trying to film an epic video here. Tom was looking at these. They're five pounds. He called me over and said, oh look, Ricky jeans. Because obviously my name's Jeff. Nah, you thought I was going to enter the meme, didn't you? <laughs> Incorrect. Five pound. He said, he's not buying them. I said, why not? He said, because he can't find the leg size. So I was like, are you putting them back then? He said, yes. I said, do you mind if I buy them? He said, no. So I bought them. The guy's never heard of a tape measure. Tom, I'm going to send you a message, show you how to measure the inside leg in a minute. Uh... 15 to 20 on Vinted. This is a really nice jacket. I paid three pounds for this. It's still new with the tags. I say new, it's still got the tags. There's a few little marks on it from storage, but this is a Ferrari Scuderia jacket and it actually has big print on the back, has the nice sort of tight elastic, fits tight to your waist. It doesn't let any, any wind in, it breaks the wind. Come on now, you know what I meant. Size large, little shell hit on the arm. Little Ferrari hit on the arm somewhere. Where did I see it? No, just there. And the big Scuderia mark on the back. Three pound, three pound from the same stall that I also paid three pound for. From this, I don't know what that's gonna be worth. Hopefully upwards of 50 quid, but it's three pound. I'll accept, not too cheap. I'll accept some good, good low offers on that. Another one, brand new with tags from the same stall, three pound, Barbaria rugby top. I think they're an Irish team, I think. And I think from this Help the Heroes range was around about 2017, I think. Just some quick research. It's a nice big size. It's new with tags. Three pound. From the same stall that I found this. What? In fact, you know what? I'm going to put it on. This is an Avisu downfield jacket. The size large and it's just it does feel just a little bit too tight on me otherwise i'd keep it properly but not only is it really nice with all this kind of like spell out big flashy designs it's also reversible for them days where you just want to tone it down a little bit but one of the best things i like about this and it's reverse state see if i can get it in the uh, camera it's got like a little wriggly spearmint thing Obviously it's not Wrigley's, but it's just like a, a little hit, a little tag. It's very warm. Yeah, this is duck down or goose down. I can't remember, I'll never look. It's on that Avisu custom made tag, size large, filling 80% gray duck down, 20% feather. Whew. Yeah, it's legit, sound as, couple of small little marks, signs of use mainly around like the cuff area, but really nothing major at all. Nothing that would stop me wearing it. Really, really like that. I saw it on the hangar and ran over there quick as I could. I said, how much is that? She said, it's gonna have to be five pound at the moment, like I've just got it. I said, yeah, that's all right, no problem. And I honestly think that's it. So it's not a lot, but some good money to be made and we was in and out before half past eight. Thanks for watching, massively appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. <laughs> Stunner.